This is Twit. Uh, Renee Ritchie, you went down to New York. Yes, sir. You lucky dog. Because <laughs> there are new Macintosh computers in the that offing. Right here for you, Laporte. And you, I know you got Space Gray. Of course you did. Yep. 15 inch. Now, oh, you got the fit. Now, is this a review well, this is, unit this or did review you buy unit, this? Yeah. Okay. No, this is Apple owned hardware. Okay. Because uh, I bought one. <laughs> I'm still vacillating over. I was so sure. I was so sure when they were talking to me that I was going to go for the 15 inch, four terabyte. And then I'm like, I saw the price and I'm like, that 13 inch, two terabyte yeah. looks more than enough computer yeah. for me. <laughs> I didn't, I couldn't, I did, uh, you know, I bought it for review purposes because they don't, I don't have uh, any clout with Apple, but that's fine. I prefer to, honestly. Um, well, I usually get the review unit so I can have it right away, and then I buy one, yeah. and I get to sort of figure out which one I'm going to buy. Turns out <laughs> so, you could get it right away if you were get if you yeah. didn't do a BTO, a bill to order. You could get it and go to the Apple Store. But of course, I did a BTO. Let's just let's just walk through my thought process. Well, if you're going to get it, get a 15 inches because this is a pro device, right? This is yeah. not by any means an a consumer. I'm, an device. I'm in a bag. Yeah. So the so the 15s start at twenty three ninety nine, but you don't want that one. You want, you know, one yeah. with a little more chutzpah. You want, an I, you want an i9, Leo. Yeah, well, okay, that's a good thought. I did want an i9. I was actually, the day before Apple announced this, shopping the ThinkPads for an i9. That's only 300 bucks more. It's not that, the i9, is it a big difference between that i9 and i7, or is it just those three little gigahertz? So, I mean, it, it is and it isn't. Like, the Apple is doing what Apple always does, and they are using the absolute ultra highest spec Intel chips. Now, I asked a lot of people, and no one is at, everyone says, oh, you know, Apple's later. They're using the same. No, they're not using the same chips as everybody else. They are using like the top of the top chips they can possibly get, which are slightly different than the ones that everyone else is already selling. So, if you want that, Leo, like if you want the Mercedes AK, you, know, you want the Mercedes, you want the AKG version of it and that's what all these and i suspect part of the reason they do that is they don't want people to do comparison price shopping so well, well, you can do it it's just this it's the most expensive possible part that you can comparison shop yeah i, th I think actually that's what apple did all around didn't yes. they i mean that's the thing that's so let's just let's just spec it out yes so i got the i9 i did do that now if you notice that the four terabyte solid state drive adds three thousand two hundred dollars yes. to the price you might hesitate Two terabytes, well, that's a mere twelve hundred bucks, and and since you were gonna get an eight hundred buck ding for getting the one terabyte, might as well just, you know. So the four terabytes are two two terabytes in oh. scary raid with a custom controller. Oh, not good. We don't like scary raid. So two terabytes is one unit. Do you think? Yes. Yeah. And it's soldered on. Well, they're chips. Yeah, they're chips. It's just they don't make the they don't actually make a four terabyte version of that. Important it's to understand though, this is not upgradable in any form or fashion. No. That's it. You get what you get and you're stuck with it. You so, can sell it and buy a new computer, yeah, right. but you can't change so it. So I got the two terabytes. Final Cut Pro, I already have it. Logic Pro. Well, that was it. That's all I could choose. Well, where, where's 32 my thirty two gigs that, of RAM? Yeah, that was that was there too, Leo. Oh, let's put that in there. This is the first Apple laptop with a uh, capability. Now brain. this is DDR4, so it's not as power efficient as the as the low power DDR3 they're using in the 13 inch. But to compensate for it, they put a slightly bigger battery in, and to compensate for that, they took they took atoms out of the rest of the computer to keep the same weight. Yeah, I fix it. Noticed that that the battery's heavier, but the the laptop's not. So somehow, well, I mean, Apple stated Apple stated that at the announcement. So the, it, they, they're not hiding it. Uh, I fix it. Thinks that maybe they shaved down some of the yeah. aluminum in the uh, top of the device. In any or they event, filled it with helium or something. So we've got now a i9, 32 gigs, two terabytes, four thousand six hundred ninety nine dollars. It's still less than my iMac Pro. Yeah. Is it? How would I you joke, think it compares to an I mean, iMac Pro, though? I mean, it's so I only joked with them last year. I'm like, I I would love an iMac Book Pro, and they sort of looked at me, ha 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 ha. And then it turns out that if you get this, and then you get an eGPU as a docking station, and one of those LG 5K monitors, you essentially have not an iMac Pro because those are Xeon processors, but a pretty you know top flight iMac that you can take the bottom part off and travel with. Well, actually, don't you get better single core performance in the Mac? You do. You do. So it depends on what workload you want. Yeah. If you want, but the, what was it, 18 yeah. cores. Right. I got a 10 core but iMac the, Pro, Pro with a lower single clock speed. Yes. But it's four more cores. 
but that's a very specific use case. You have to have an yeah. application that's going to use. And it's also like it's durability. Like the, everything in the iMac Pro is like it's ECC. It's it's right. built to be server right. workstation class. Alex? Yeah, I think that, I mean, it. Uh, the biggest problem with most of the MacBooks is that their their GPUs are not not very good. <laughs> oh, yeah. We didn't I mean, even it, see a GPU choice here. That I think because we got the top of the line, we got the upgraded 560X. That is Intel did not ship a better... Into, so it's, it was so hard for Intel to get Coffee Lake out. They basically didn't do anything with the GPUs this year. And the 13-inch oh, uses the integrated. So ah. the 13-inch thir uses the integrated. Apple couldn't use the integrated for the 15-inch. Apple still can't work with, with uh, NVIDIA. So they went with uh, AMD. Yeah. Plus, they co-developed an external GPU alongside this, didn't they? They, they co-developed with Blackmagic, yes. You can get yeah. a Blackmagic with the Vega that you get in the iMac Pro. Yeah, let's, let's look at that Blackmagic eGPU. It's still not a super fast... Uh, yeah, I don't quite... I mean, I get, I get the idea of building something, and I'm a big Blackmagic fan, but I, I didn't understand this one. I, I, was, I, I looked at it, I was like, well, for most of us that are going to really want this... We're going to want more. Could, but you you know, know, there like are it, other companies that make e – this is cheap. This is only 700 bucks. It was mostly designed but, for but people who want it quiet. And it has – it's right. really a dock too, right? Because it has a bunch yeah, of ports on it. Yeah, it's a docking it. station, and it was designed for developers who would go for an iMac or a MacBook Pro, but they don't want the big fan. And you can call them fussy developers right. if you want, but mm -hmm. they just want to plug in their Vive – do their work and not hear that's true. About it. No, I can see. But I can I'll, see supporting a Vive on it on your laptop. I mean, your laptop to this to a Vive actually makes a fair bit of sense if you're developing. If you're you're doing something for it, it really is enough GPU to support a 360 development on the you know for on Final Cut and and uh, you know other things like that. So I can see I can see that that makes more sense uh, for most of us that want real really soup up our computers. You want one that. You can put whatever you want in there, continue to upgrade it, and possibly have more than one. Right. This you know, is this, a Radeon Pro 580. It's kind of a middle-of-the-road GPU. It's nowhere it's near a 1080 Ti or anything yeah. like that. The case but is really nice. Can you not get any GPU that will allow you to use other? You can. And you can even, you can even if you don't mind messing with drivers and stuff, you can try and see if you can get an NVIDIA to run in it. So right. you can get – Apple said that there's a ton of those options out there, but they did hear from a certain element of developer community who just wanted something quiet. And I remember mar remarking on that when we did the iMac Pro demos. They had Cinema 4D and a bunch of developers in there, and they would turn on the eGPUs. And man, were they powerful. But all of a <laughs> yep. sudden, it was fan everywhere. <laughs> so if I max out that uh, device by putting in the 4-terabyte drive, we now get it up to $6,700. That's, <laughs> that's all the way up. That's, that's going to this 11. Is, it's, this, is, this, is not, this is not a complaint, just an observation. I have never paid that much for a car. <laughs> yeah, let alone a laptop. So, I mean, they, because Apple is Apple, they had a bunch of people there doing demos for us. And one of the people were the uh, director and editor for Despacito. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. The video that's got six billion views on Despacito. YouTube. Despacito. They, they did not edit it on this computer because it wasn't around then. But as soon as they got it, they put the whole thing on there. And they said that for them in their business which the, the bottleneck is always the performer. Like getting the performer on the phone is the most important thing in the world for them. They could put the entire 5K red video file, no uh, optimized media, no scale down media, nothing, no proxy media. They could have the whole thing on there. They could edit it. It would render in half the time it took to play. So tw so twice real time. They could send them an iPhone, because that's apparently what everybody does now. They just send you iPhone versions for you to prove. And if they wanted anything changed, they could just re-render one, send it back in two minutes, have another change, and their their most important thing, more than time, more than money, with not having to deal with external storage, not having to deal with proxy media anymore. So if you that we, that was the sixty seven hundred dollar option. If you don't yes. do any customization, uh, you can get the thirteen inch MacBook Pro without you know with a two point three gigahertz uh, i five. That's four cores. It's yeah. eight gigs of RAM, not thirty two or sixteen, and a two hundred fifty six gig SSD. That's seventeen ninety nine. So that's the base price. You cannot get any of these without the Touch Bar. Yes, that's a, that's a given now. They did not, not abandoning the non Touch Bar one, but they they're not talking about. They it did yet. not update the MacBook Escape, as some people call it, because it has a real escape no. key. And uh, maybe even more notably, they didn't update any other long overdue updates for the MacBook or the MacBook Air or the Those iMac are, Mini or Mac Mini. Yeah. Uh, or even just the iMac that they these the what Apple has done in the last two years is focused on the high end pro market the premium 
market. And it's, Alex, you've said this many times. The pros are not price sensitive. No, no. <clears throat> These are not. I mean, even I, about 4500 is about what I've spent on most of my laptops in the last 10 years. I mean, you know, when you start adding up all the little bits and pieces because you try to soup it all up to what you need because you're using that every day and it, theoretically it's generating revenue most of the time. So uh, if, you're, if you're doing this as a business and you are buying the newest thing, you're probably making money at it and that is generating revenue. And, you know, that's the price of it. Yeah small camera or a lens or or anything else i mean it, when it's a tool of the trade it, it's just an entirely different calculation would i buy one of these uh for myself for myself just to 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 play with like no probably not <laughs> but um but for work it it makes sense i'm right. still i'm still hanging on to my I, I i travel so much that just the idea of going away from uh um my mag safe is still Holding well, back. But note I, that well, Apple did discontinue it, so. uh, the the 15 mm -hmm. inch 2015 MacBook Pro. That is which no is what one. I have now. It's not like I'm updating. yeah. It's what I have too. That's what oh. I'm replacing. Um, right. And I I'm hoping. So there are. It isn't just the Touch Bar. It's the t Touch Bar with a new T2 chip, the same one in the Mac yes. Pro. So that means Hey Siri works. You don't have to yes. press a button. It uh, uses the coprocessor for Hey mm -hmm. Siri. Is there anything else that Renee. the T2 is adding? Uh, sorry, Siri decided to answer me. Uh, the T2, yeah, so the T2 gives you the same functionality that you have in the iMac Pro, which is secure boot, uh, real-time encrypt encryption, um, and the other, the, it basically consolidates all the controllers. So instead of having discrete controllers for a lot of the different components, all those controllers are now in the T2, which is, I think, essentially like an A8 or A9 hybrid. Yeah. I was going to ask, I was going to ask you, like, privately on Twitter, but I may as well do it now. I've been trying... Uh, have they up upgraded the microphone array at all to support Hey Siri, or is it still the same sort of like chat microphone sort of uh, situation? They have not. They said that the microphone system from FaceTime was capable of doing what they needed for Hey Siri. Yeah. For Siri, yeah, that's it. Sorry. Product. Yeah, that 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 one that one bothers me. I think that the next, what, whenever they redesign the next MacBooks, I think they need to put in omnidir omnidirectional microphones because. Siri is useful to you when you're not like right directly in front of the screen. If you're right in front of the screen, why not just type? Why not? Why not just you know use uh, use yeah. your keyboard to do that? So, nice nice move though. No, I, I asked them about that right away because I also wanted them to have fancy yeah. new mics in there because they they have that whole audio system team. And I just want them to do everything now. I, I was kind of surprised that they didn't start adding stuff like depth sensors into the you know into the into this for you know for Face ID and so on and so forth. You know the to, iPad to kind of incorporate all of that the ipad does that sorry yeah the ipad is getting them next so they're yeah. going to get yeah. all the ipad stuff next and then they're going to seem like when you're Mac. updating this it would it would be the time to do it but of course but that but, but that makes sense we see we see this big gap where uh, how much retooling would they have to do uh, to the macbook pro line in order to accommodate all this stuff right. not only in the front bezel but also you know under underneath the keyboard and given that they they did a huge and not entirely successful maybe rev a couple of years ago, that's not on. I'm I'm more curious to see what happens when they decide to make uh, the consumer i the consumer iMac and the consumer MacBooks, which I believe are going to be pretty damn different from what we're seeing right now. That if they're basically pack, they're making this part of the of the first wave of real next generation uh, Macs with more of these iOS hardware features, not just uh, software features. But it's I mean, not, we don't think, it's not a redesign the in the sense that the hardware, the outsides are designed differently at no, all, right? No. It's a spec bump. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd, be, I'd be happy if they did that, but no. 